Atonic dystrophy is a genetic disorder that affects both men and women equally. My name is Alexa Dixon. Currently I'm employed at CSU as a postdoctoral researcher. I work in the Willis Lab in the Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Pathology. My research focuses on um, investigating the role of mRNA stability in the development of myotonic dystrophy. Myotonic dystrophy is an inherited disease, kind of similar to a disease that most people have heard of called muscular dystrophy, but they're a little different too. So muscular dystrophy usually affects young boys, but myotonic dystrophy can affect anyone. It can affect anyone of any age. So very um, mild patients might have um, just muscle weakness or wasting, but very severe patients would be affected at birth and could have very severe muscle weakness and wasting and some cognitive defects as well. So in every cell, um, there's a molecule called DNA, and that's your genetic information. Well, in order for that genetic information to be translated into proteins, it has to undergo a step where it goes, turns into mRNA. And for mRNA to make protein effectively, it has to be processed effectively. And one of those processing steps is um, at the level of RNA stability. For RNA to make protein, the, the RNA has to be very stable. And we think that there may be um, a defect in RNA stability and myotonic dystrophy. And if we were able to figure out what that defect is, we might be able to figure out how to correct it and maybe develop therapeutics for myotonic dystrophy. So that's the goal of my research, to understand the role of the stability of the mRNA and how that affects um, patients with myotonic dystrophy.